You have heard us say it before. We need the rain, but not all at once. The weather in Southern California can push the extremes when it comes to wet or dry conditions. And with the mountain steep terrain, life threatening situations can occur to those who live nearby in an instant. Whether it's a wintertime atmospheric river or summertime thunderstorm, all that water must flow through Metro Southern California to get out to sea. Now, how fast the water moves comes down to how much rain falls within a certain period of time, and that determines what type of flooding you see. Now, regular flooding, where warnings are issued, will see a steady rainfall over a long period of time, giving way to a gradual rise and fall of area rivers. This type of flooding can be deadly, especially for people in cars choosing to drive through flooded roadways. Flash flooding, on the other hand, involves heavy or excessive rainfall falling within a short amount of time. This gives way to fast moving and quickly rising torrents of water flowing through canyons, dry riverbeds and can easily catch people off guard even miles from where it actually rains. Excessive and heavy rainfall can also trigger mudslides and debris flows on steep mountain sides or in recent burn scars. Those burn scars have seen their vegetation and roots weakened or stripped from the hillsides, removing a stabilizing force. Without healthy roots and plants holding the soil in place, it becomes much easier for the soil to move when it rains. The risk for a debris flow and a burn scar can extend as much as five years after a fire as the landscape recovers. Now, when it comes to flooding, be mindful of your surroundings, especially when storms are predicted. Avoid driving through flooded roadways and be situationally aware if you are in a flood prone area. I'm meteorologist Alex Piston for CBS LA.